Okay, so I just got back from Christmas shopping and I just pulled up and my daily harvest is here. You guys, I am so, so excited about this. You have no idea. So when I do the unboxing, I'll get more into about why I'm so excited about it. So anyways, I'm going to take you up to the front door and let's go get it. Okay, you guys. Oh, did you guys hear my rooster? He's so loud. There it is. Oh my gosh, you guys. Hey, look. The squirrels got in the trash. Here it is. Super foods, super fast. It just got delivered this morning. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. I cannot wait to see all my stuff in my box. So we're going to get to open it in just a bit. Okay, guys. So here is my box. Super foods, super fast. I went ahead and just opened the top part so I haven't looked to see what's inside yet. I mean, I know what I ordered, but I mean, I forgot some of the stuff. So anyways, so it comes in a really nice cold bag. Yeah, everything is really nice and nice and cold, so that's good. Here's a little envelope. It says, good for you. It's got some cute little um, magnets and stuff like that. It's really cute. And it says, kudos, you're chosen. You've chosen your daily dose of good. Now place your cups in the freezer ASAP and they'll be ready to blend, heat, or soak anytime. Simply follow the instructions on the back of your cup. Voila, superfood, super fast. So, there's your little paper that comes with it. Okay, so I ordered, I think you can order like 9, 12, and I think there's a, a, like a bigger number that you, or 16 cups maybe that you can get per week. I ordered the 12 cup. So, here we go. Um, so, the first one that I got is the, oh, this is a latte. This is a ginger and turmeric latte um, and on the back really just really simple clean ingredients I won't go through all the ingredients on all of them but just to show you like there's just, I mean it tells you every single thing that's in it so this is a latte so I'm, I'm really excited about that so and then I got oh here's another latte so this is the chaga and chocolate latte and for the directions, these say to remove one latte pod. I think it comes with three pods. It says remove one latte pod, run under hot water for 10 seconds, then peel off the foil seal. Um, if you want to do it hot, you pop the contents in a, 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 a saucepan for the stove pop or the microwave, and you add 10 ounces of liquid, and they recommend your milk of choice that you want. And then you heat it for one to two minutes until it's steaming and stir well. So there's your two lattes. Okay, so here are some pumpkin and chai overnight oats. It's only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven ingredients. So the overnight oats, pumpkin and chai. Then I got a harvest bowl. This is butternut squash and chimichurri harvest bowl. So got that. Oh my gosh, you guys. Let me tell you why I'm so excited about this. It's because my diet is so restricted to really eating whole foods, not eating a lot of processed stuff because processed food just doesn't agree with me that I'm so glad to be able to have something that I can eat now and it's not going to like you know, it doesn't have a whole bunch of crap in it, but I don't have to spend tons of time making it. So I'm really excited. Okay, so the next bowl that I got is another harvest bowl. It's the Brussels sprouts and tahini. Brussels sprouts and tahini. And then I got the soup. So the soup is cauliflower and leek stew. Cauliflower and leek. Okay, and then I got a harvest bowl. It's red lentil and cumin. Red lentil and cumin. Okay, I got a smoothie. This is the chai and coconut smoothie. So this has zucchini in it. Zucchini, coconut, cauliflower, dates, black pepper, hemp, protein, MCT oil, chai spice, and vanilla. So I thought that was interesting. So 
stuff that I normally wouldn't buy for myself. So I got a smoothie. This is the mango and greens smoothie. Overnight oats, mulberry, and dragon fruit. Okay, and then this is a soup, mushroom, and miso ramen. That sounded really good to me. And then the last one that's in here is a smoothie, and it's the cocoa and avocado smoothie. So, yeah, that's that one. Um, I'm actually going to try one of these out for you guys. I'm going to actually do a workout first. Um, I'm going to drink a protein shake. Um, and I'll show you the protein shake that, I, um, that I'm trying out too. So um, I can do a review on that later. But I'm going to drink the protein shake. I'm going to do a workout. And then I'm going to try one of these bowls. And then I'll show you guys how I make it and um, how it tastes. Okay, I'll see you. Okay, guys. So I just got done with my workout. I didn't do the new protein shake just because I wanted to give this a full review on like if I had any reaction to it, how it tasted, you know, stuff like that. So I didn't want to try anything new before I tried this just to make sure that everything was cool with me and my body. So I actually just filled the top of this with vegetable broth. I'm using um, just some organic vegetable broth. You can use water or broth. It doesn't matter. So just fill that to the top. Kind of break it up before you put it in there a little bit. And then it says to microwave it. For three to five minutes, I'm just going to microwave it for five minutes. Okay, guys, so here is my soup. It says in the thing it's like a stew, but I really wouldn't call it a soup. It more, or a stew, it has more of like a, like a soup consistency. Anyways, I added a little bit of uh, daya cheese to it just to see... You know, because it's supposed to be a, a stew. So, add a little bit of day of cheese to it. And I'm going to read off the ingredients to you guys, but I'm going to give you guys a taste test here. Mmm. Mmm. It reminds me of, like, broccoli cheese soup. It's got a really good fresh flavor. Yes. The vegetable broth definitely made it. I probably wouldn't add water if I, unless I absolutely had to, but the vegetable broth is what makes it so, so, so good. And again, this has cauliflower, celery root, spinach, onion, leek, nutritional yeast, Himalayan sea salt, garlic, chive, and white pepper. You guys, I'm so excited about this. I spend like $12 or $13, probably three or four times a week at Whole Foods just to get lunch because I don't feel like cooking my own food because it's just so difficult with my, the way I eat. This was $7, seven or $8, $7. That's like probably half of what I usually pay and I can stay here at home. I don't have to go out and waste half of my day so you guys this is really good it's a good serving size too the day of cheese on top mmm so good so I hope you guys enjoyed this have a great day and I'll see you guys again really soon bye